So hello, welcome to another video of this SPS on YouTube channel. I'm Shiku Feldbaum and in this video I wanted to show you guys um, how I kind of, not how I designed, but the lubrication and the engine cooling that will be required for this car. So um, I'm now making like a section fuel with the engine and as that kit's done right now, you can kind of see the pistons, crankshaft, connecting rods and all of that. But in the center of it all, right here, is this channel and this channel will be um, up on the pretty high pressure so a lot of engine or motor oil and everything will be flown through um, from kind of this this top so the top circle right here and it will well just in this channel there are on different places there will be like a couple of holes that are drilled as you can also see and what um, because the the fluid and everything is under high pressure will kind of shoot these jets out of um, with just motor oil and just lubricating uh, fluids and everything onto not only the connecting rods here so there is a, a lot of friction that, that gets taken away by the lubrication on the crankshaft and everything between the connecting rod and the crankshaft but also on this hole right here that will kind of shoot a jet of motor oil um, not only onto the cylinder wall but also when, as soon as the, the piston comes down also onto the piston itself and it will kind of help everything to get um, the whole cylinder wall lubricated and all of that so that is the purpose of that one and we will also find that there is one um, right in the center of everything so uh, right on, on the pivot point for the crankshaft so that channel right there that will um, kind of shoot oil directly onto the crankshaft um, and yeah just to have a layer of protective oil and everything between the crankshaft and the uh, yeah between and the engine block and everything and as soon as all of that motor oil kind of falls down and ends up in the, in the uh, yeah just ends up right here in the in the, the dry sump area. It will be sucked in by these pumps that will be driven by the crankshaft. So there will be like a bell drive that will kind of go through, and it will be an axle with some turbines on it, and it will create some sort of a vacuum onto which the um, engine oil will be sucked out of through this pump, and it will go through um, uh, uh, oil uh, shit how you call it oil filter I believe it is and that will kind of then go through into the, the dry sump tank so the tank will kind of sit um, right behind the driver just above the fuel cell so let's say the fuel cell will be sitting somewhere here then we have like an oil tank that will be sitting in this location somewhere and eventually when um, there will be a secondary pump sitting somewhere in this area right here and that will kind of pump it again through to this hole and that is everything for the lubrication of the engine. So the next part, the next fluid that will run through the engine is the cooling fluid. And the cooling fluid will kind of sit uh, on the outside of the cylinders, on the cylinder walls right here. So this whole area will be just filled up with some sort of a cooling fluid. And you will have on this side of the engine, you can see on the other side, it's like going to go to with the section fill and everything. But here you can see that on this side, it will be coming in. So the, the cold water or the cooling fluid and it will kind of be ran through all of these fans and parts and everything to get as much contact with the cylinder wall, take as much heat out of the system as possible and then again it will come out here and again go through a channel um, yeah just over here will be, I will probably just make some sort of tube and um, that will be connected through this so for the water pump and everything because we need to also put some pressure behind it to really get the whole system working and everything and also to get it to get cool and even when the car is sitting still and um, yeah so the water will go through a radiator somewhere that will be located on the left side of the driver somewhere right here and here we've got some coolers for other the other things so like gearbox cooling and differential cooling and everything and um, so that is another thing and yeah so like I said we'll be entering the cylinder walls and everything on this side and will the, the hot water will be coming out on that side with a, an additional water pump that will be sitting somewhere right here that will extract all of the all of the, the hot fluids and push it through to the radiator so that is another thing that will be added to the engine very soon so I have to create some sort of a setup that kind of looks similar to a Formula 1 car so we have one air intake on top with uh, a radiator that is sitting on the left side of the engine and on the right side we will put um, gearbox oil coolers and um, also just motor oil coolers 
and we also put differential fluid coders and everything just to keep everything running as cool as possible and on the right side we will also have uh, for the batteries the cooling for that and I don't know yet but we will figure that out very soon so we have um, that is basically everything for this video and um, yeah just let me know what you guys think if I should add anything and um, if I forgot anything if you know something that I don't know please let me know and uh, yeah see you guys in the next video I'm Shikafelbom thanks for watching I'm out